And now, good people of the Northeast Kingdom and everywhere else, please welcome to the stage your host for the evening, Mr. Leo Lander! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the weird coronavirus version of Vermont making the best free piles Vermont has ever seen. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yeah. Okay, raise your hand if you had a free pile at your house this summer. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Pretty oh, good. That's pretty actually good. less than I expected. All right. All right. Uh, raise your hand if you took something from a free pile this summer. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> I, wa I just watched like six spouses point at their partner and go, <laughs> You people are more or less the Marie Kondo types and more of the hoarders types. I get it. It's all right. Now, for those of you who don't know, a free pile is when you put your belongings uh, in a nice pile out by the road for somebody else to take it, no cost. Yeah. It's very, very easy to do. All you got to do is make a sign. That sign just says free. And it's got to be written in Sharpie or spray paint, all right, on plywood or cardboard, on a stake that's probably going to break in about two days. That's all you need, all right? Uh, if there's no sign, that's just somebody's egg cooler or their kids left the toys by the end of the driveway. Okay, don't take that. That's called stealing. Yeah, I had to learn <laughs> I had to learn that lesson the hard way. I'm really sorry, Ozzy. I will bring back your lawnmower, okay? <laughs> You've probably been wondering where that went. Now, free piles are open to everyone, all right? Everyone should feel included. Um, but you got to treat this with respect and follow this free pile code. Yeah. Okay, first things first. Oh, this, these people are leaving. Everybody wave goodbye to me so hungry. Hey! See you later. Oh, now he's stopping. <laughs> Just trying to be in the moment. So first things first. If you're going to put out a free pile, that thing has to have some use left to somebody. All right? You can't, for example, put out an egg beater that don't turn on no more. That's catfish. That's vicious consequences. All right? Because here's what's going to happen. Somebody's going to see it, they're going to be like, sweet, egg beater, I ain't got one of them. I'm going to pick it up, put it in my truck, forget about it for two weeks. And then, on a Sunday morning, it's your 10th wedding anniversary, they're going to go to make really nice omelets for their spouse, and guess who's going to be awfully disappointed right here? Tell you what, never stop at the free pile, third house down center road ever again. That's my advice. Now, an item that goes in the free pile should be something that's at least 15 years old or you didn't pay for it in the first place. Mm. Okay. If you did pay for an item, that goes on Craigslist or back in your parents' garage where it belongs. Turning 40 next year, I still got a whole row of my stuff and then I can't do anything about it. Pretty good. Now, what else is there? Oh, yeah. I completely forget what's next. Oh, yeah. No, no returns, no regrets. Mm -hmm. If you pick something up, it is yours, and you will defend that acquisition as if your life depended on it, all right? I promise to fit the egg beater. I'll make it work by a 15. Uh, and now, free piles are first come, first serve. So you've got about five seconds as you're driving down the road to decide if you want to stop, okay? That's the critical moment. And then when you do stop and fall in love with that love seat, um, you better have room in your car for it and be ready to load it by yourself. And that's why between the months of May and September, I never leave home without a pallet jack, a furniture dolly, two ratchet straps, a stepladder, and my brother-in-law. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. Now, you might be looking at the weather and thinking, to tarp or not to tarp? Oh, that's a good question. So I was driving down Square Road, and there was a couch out, okay? Um, and I thought, uh-oh, there's rain in the forecast. Mm. But then I drove back by, and there was a tarp over the couch, free sign on top. Good thinking. Yeah. Protect the cushions, show people that you care. If you like it, then you better put a tarp on it. That's what I always say. <laughs> so then, but. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> but, but who has time to stop, get out, lift up the tarp to see what's underneath? I mean, we've got busy lives. I don't know, Mark. I'm pretty sure there's a few people here, tarp lifters. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> I, I guess so. So anyway, I was driving back past on Square Road, and the couch was still there. Tarp was gone. Oh, somebody got a free tarp. Yes. Oh, no, what? Charlie. You never take the tarp, the sawhorses, the table, the <laughs> tablecloth, or the pop-up tent. Oh. That is a major code violation. But what if I just wanted to get a pop-up tent for our living room? No, nope. 
but, but he couldn't. No. I just, oh. All right, Ozzy, I'll bring back your pop up tent too. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, free pile expiration date. Oh yes, very important. If that thing sits out there for 10 days or more, it is time for you to accept the fact that nobody wants it. And it's time to relocate that 30-year-old pair of wooden skis to the permanent free pile in Coventry. <laughs> A shelving unit, oh. an organizational and space-saving wonder. I have been to Ikea. <laughs> yes, Ikea. I have also got for us great heaps of tea lights and balls of reindeer meat fresh from the Nordic seas. But, but dear sir, why hast thou not shopped upon mine? Surely thou hast noticed that the width of our band is but a mere inch. <coughs> Rather than sit and watch the endless loading of the rainbow wheel of death. I left, escaping my family for an entire Sabbath day. And traveling alone, sweet mercy, to Plattsburgh, where there is no Ikea. So I tarried forth to New Haven, and there, betwixt the buck of stars and the club of Sam, I found Ikea. Ikea. And thou didst obtain a shelving unit? I did. And when thou fixes thine eyes upon it, thou shalt know that thy husband is a veritable smarty breeches. <laughs> is a thing of wonder, perfect for today's versatile and dynamic workspaces. Roll it wherever it may be needed. Use it as a desk thanks to its generous working surface. It is durable and of a quality that will last many a year. Uh, and where hast thou been storing this miraculous thing? It hath been hiding in plain sight in a flat box <laughs> in the temporary garage. But how can we assemble it? with so little in the way of what they call free time. Ah, the squire with whom I traded assured me that the box contains instructions that even the most base fool could follow. I shall retrieve it. If only I could trust this plan, so simple and in answer to our most pressing needs. And yet I know, with sadness and regret, that such a plan doth often end in tears. <laughs> I shall need my retractable rapier in order to cut a channel of access. <coughs> ah, tis made in foreign lands, a sure sign of quality. And what saith the scroll of instructions? I know not. Ah, what great quantities of bags of air! <laughs> I shall dump it. <laughs> ah, a scroll of assemblage. <laughs> Seek part A and part B. Part A and part 
<laughs> Looking much alike in all but their connecting pieces. But one is a nobleman and one a lady. <laughs> ah! He thinks I have spotted the nobleman. <laughs> After a brief courtship, they are wed. <laughs> like so. Uh, and the union is presided over. Oh, by the key of Allen. <laughs> the key of Allen? The key of Allen. I see no key of Allen. There must be a key of Allen. Ah, the key. But there is no key of Allen. Wherefore art thou key of Allen? <laughs> well, tis a tight fit. Methinks I may just force it into nay, place. Nay, there, it tis will not done. work. Tis done. It is only wobble and insecurity. <laughs> Blast and damnation! Cursed be these boards! Cursed be the hand that cut them! Cursed be the heart that had the heart to sell them! Ah, oh, life! Why dost thou play me for a fool? Indeed, this story has unspooled much as I could think it would. <laughs> I shall have to make a trip to Good Sir Willie's store in order to purchase additional hardware. <laughs>
Jim, you gotta, you gotta take, you gotta take off the mask. They can't, they can't hear you. I'll stay back. I'll stay back. <laughs> now, I know a lot of people are not really completely following the rules, so we just want to talk about a couple of rules of safety, all right? Okay, first of all, anybody here got a low shoulder? What? A low shoulder. Anybody got no shoulder? Low shoulder? We can't have, if there's no shoulder, you can't be pulling over to any show, okay? It's not safe to do that. All right, I need to make a demonstration. Can I get a volunteer? Can I get a volunteer? Can I get a volunteer? Yeah, okay, come on up. Come on up. Come on, hurry. You don't have a lot of time for this. <laughs> you only got one speed. Okay, fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I've seen. I saw a lot of people doing this. They were like, they were like putting their fingers inside other people's masks. Don't do that. It's not safe. It's not safe at all. Another thing that I saw somebody do, I thought somebody did take some of their hand and just, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't be putting other people's hands in your mouth. That's just stupid, okay? Don't do that. Even if you think it's funny, it's just stupid. Don't do that, okay? Another thing I saw, somebody took somebody's hair and used it as a toothbrush, okay? Not only does it not clean your teeth, but it's stupid. Don't do that. Don't be doing this stupid stuff, okay? Another thing, don't do this. <laughs> See, it's okay if I do it because I got the heel, but none of you are wearing one, so don't do that. That's stupid. Okay? All right, go back to your seat. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's what that looks like. <laughs> All right, you people are a discerning crowd tonight. You're like, I got my tickets a month in advance. I don't have to clap. That's okay. I got this. No. I know what to do, I'll do the fancy stuff. Here we go, I got under the leg. Oh, you wake it up. All right, all right, under the other leg. Behind the bat, behind the other bat, both at the same time. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Oh, I forgot to say, this family in the front, you look wicked nervous, I can barely see it, but keep the kids in front, they're good for shielding yourselves and... Uh, <laughs> Pay attention, because if one of them flies at you, there's two more coming right behind it. <laughs> Couple fancy tricks. Here's one. This is called chops. <laughs> it's all about my face. <laughs> one up the middle. This is an easy one to understand. If you didn't figure it out, here's another one. It's called two on the outside. <laughs> Here's that. Triple spins around the back. Whoa, boy. <laughs> Don't act like you never screw up at your job, okay? <laughs> Triple spins around the back. Other way. Yes. Off the foot. Yeah! Oh, I had the ramen. You got to be careful. <laughs> All right, what are some other ones? Oh, here's one I haven't done yet. Here's a round the head. This is how I do my own quarantine haircuts right there. Here's a pretty one. Yes! Well, thank you very much. I got a couple more in here. We'll get them out. There's uh, one, two, three. <laughs> After this year, kid, I'm not sure of anything right now. <laughs> Four torches. One wicked enthusiastic crowd. <laughs> right on cue. Right on cue. <laughs> it's a $15 show. You get what you pay for, okay? <laughs> Four at once. Oh, I got an echo. In there. We got a train cat up next. <laughs> you want a lollipop? No, he just wants the handicap sign back. All right. Sorry, disabled. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Four torches. Dark sky. Bright lights. Yes. Okay. I don't know how to start.
ありがとう。Much nicer over more here. Comfortable. I like it over here. No, but if, if, if I could just be a little further from you. You can't be a little further because I like it where you are. All right, listen, I think i got to explain something to you. Oh, yeah? I'm going to give you a little PSA. A PSA? Yeah, PSA. What's PSA? You know what PSA stands oh, for? Oh, I know what PSA <laughs> I know what PSA stands for. What? It's a, a possum swollen armpit. No. Is what it is? No, it's the other kind of PSA. Oh, uh. Pebbles from somewhere like Alaska, you get them at a souvenir. No, that's, that's a PSA. not the kind of PSA. I mean, I mean the other PSA. Oh, the other PSA. Yeah. I know what the other PSA is. Which one? Which one? The other PSA is uh, people from somewhere else. No. That's a PSA. No, no, I'm talking about the PSA that stands for Personal Space Alert. You ever heard of that? Well, I hadn't thought of that. I'll explain it to you in song, okay? Okay. It goes like this. Sing it. Please, sir, please, don't stand so close to me. Why? Please, sir, please, don't stand so close to me. Now, where did I hear that before? I can see what you ate this morning. Really? So consider this your final warning, because huh. I don't want to have to spray you with mace. Well, don't do that. But I will if you don't give me some freaking personal space. So please, sir, please. Don't stand so close to me. All right, I get it. I get it. I'll go. Well, where are you going? I'm going to break my leg and you can finish me off. No, come on. <laughs> you don't have to take it all personally. Well, how am I supposed to take it all horsily? No, listen. It's not just about you, okay? It's oh, about really? everybody. Well, are these people bothering you? No, no, I mean it applies to everybody. You know, just the other day. I was down to the Willie store, uh -huh. and I was buying my groceries, Real? and there was a feller standing behind me in line, uh -huh. and he just kept on inching closer like this, closer. Like this? Yeah, yeah like that. Uh -huh. And I turned around and I said to him, please, sir, please, don't stand so close to me. Uh-huh, same thing. My heart has no hate. But I had to notice that you've got a Florida plate. Oh. I'm not trying to be mean, but did you really quarantine? Oh, please, sir, please. Yeah. Yeah. Don't stand so close to me. Okay, I get it. I get it. Now? You're just a big xenophobe. No. That's what it is. That's not what I'm saying. making songs about it. Look, it's not about where you're from. It's about if you can respect people's bubbles. 
You know what I'm saying? Everybody's got a bubble that they need to be in. Oh, I It's about get it. safety and it's about personal hey, comfort. Personal comfort. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? There, there, there's some people I like to say, just take a couple steps back. Well, why don't you share? This is a real thing. Yeah, you know, you know who's, who's always up on me? Who? All children. I like to say children. Just take a couple steps back. Oh, yeah. You know, they're always trying to touch my velvety muzzle and feed That's me a pine cone. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. You don't even eat pine cones. Yeah. You know who else? Who else? That thistle on the way to the barn, I'd like to say, hey, man, don't stand so close to me. Oh, you know? yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know who else I like? Who's that? Just take a couple steps off my border. Say it. New Hampshire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back up, Back up a little. Up in our face like and, and also Massachusetts. Oh, yep. And also New York. Yeah, that's true. And also Canada. Yeah. No, 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 wait, actually, Canada's okay. They can come They can down. come a little bit closer, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up once more for all these performers right here, Ariel Ambassador.